Ok hey there, in this video I'd like to do a quick demonstration of some high voltage plasma and water. So I have two cups of water here, I have my earth lead on one, uh, I have this 2000 nanofarad, 2000 piftofarad um, Leyden's jar hooked up in parallel with my output and I have a little skinny bit of LED leak or something on there for a um, electrode because the one that I soldered on the end of my wire broke off. So let's fire up. Uh, we have high voltage. I have approximately 30,000 volts here going by arc length. Uh, I'll just do a quick demonstration of arc length to the Leyden jar. Hopefully the camera's going to capture that. Uh, getting 10 or 12 millimeters there, Mac. Maybe 15 if I let it really charge up. It starts to form a little bit of plasma and then arcs. Alright, so let's look at, on the water. There's um, no water in between the two cups there. But as you can see, so that's going to make a lot of let's just um, top them up a bit. They do need to be rather full. I have seen this demonstrated by a couple of other YouTube videos. So it's not a new thing. I just sort of give it a go. Thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully. See, it does get some arcing across between the two bodies of water, and it's pretty purple, so it's mostly just high voltage plasma stuff. Now, what I thought was really interesting though was when I started getting out of the water and really close, I started getting some yellow in the going on here and particularly over this cup you'll see that there is a um, pretty yellow looking orange discharge there a lot of the time. I think what's going on is I'm actually electrolyzing a little bit of water into hydrogen and oxygen and then the R as you just saw, if you get close enough to the electrode, you get a really good discharge. So I don't think there's um, a lot of efficiency Probably less than seven microamps coming out in this plasma, so I think more amps would help get more hydrogen and oxygen mix going. I just thought that was kind of interesting, kind of cool. Drop it in there and keep arcing across the two cups. And the other one that was really cool is you can actually. Ow! That's what you get for holding on to a wet. Electrode, I guess. That got me a beauty. Um, let's see if I can do it with I'm going to spill stuff here. Hmm. Let's try that again. Electrode zaps me again. Oh, there we go. I was doing this yesterday when we were full to maximum surface tension here. And, um, every time it arced out, it's actually pulling water towards the positive electrode, which is this black one. I'll try topping up that glass a bit more. There we go, we're right on surface tension, about to fall off the edge of the cup now.
Can't get it to him. Run out, so here we go. There we go. And I made it run. And if I start dropping, it will run faster. Nice, I thought that was pretty cool. And then look into trying to get a um, more efficient high voltage driver. Or maybe contain it somehow, maybe make a little piston to drive it and see what kind of energy I can get out of exploding the water. Thanks for watching.